Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star Tanya Sam took to Instagram on Saturday to show the damage done to our business as a result of the protest in Atlanta. Tanya, who is a business owner, posted a video showing the destruction of her business from the looting, while she also discussed her feelings on the current climate in the city. According to her, rioters and looters damaged her restaurant slash lounge during the overnight protest over the murder of George Floyd a young black man who was killed by police while unarmed and in handcuffs. This ar arresting officer was seen on film with a knee on the young man's neck for over seven minutes. I know y'all are mad, I'm mad too, Tanya said as she cried. Then she told her fans to watch as she surveyed the damage. Nobody is listening to us, Tanya told her fans. As she surveyed the damage, she was emotional that the black-owned business that she had created with black art Adorning the walls was damaged. However, she did not place a blame nor express any anger or frustration towards the protesters. Tanya was not worried about a window. Instead, she showed empathy and concern. My heart goes out to everybody. Here are the pictures of the looted lounge. Y'all, I don't even know what to say, y'all. Like, I really don't. Like, I stayed up all night watching what happened to our city. And I'm telling you, like, my face is crazy because I cried all night. Like, all night, all night mad about what's happening in this country, in this world. I get it. I get it more than, like, we all get it. You know, man, I'm embarrassing myself right now. And this is so sad because, like, I'm mad, I'm enraged, I'm, you know, I'm all of that about, you know, how people are treated, all of this. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys, I'm, like, emotional, it just comes out, you know? But, you know, this was a place, like, we put this place in the heart of Atlanta, in the heart of Buckhead, where real estate is something. And this really is, like, a Black-owned business for us. We put Black art on the walls. We made it so that the most expensive mall in Atlanta that has all those brands has a place where we can come again. And I'm just sad. Like, I have to put my sunglasses on. I'm just sad. Like, I'm really sad. And I'm mad. And, like, I know y'all are mad. I know y'all are mad. I'm mad, too. I'm mad, too. And, like... Like, I'm mad, too. And I just... We need to, like... I get it. We need... To, nobody's listening to us. Nobody's listening to us. Right? I don't know what to tell you guys. And I get it. Like, I get it. I am so mad. We're tired. Like, I'm tired. I am tired. I'm tired. And it's not... We're not worried about exactly a window or whatever. We're just tired. We're all tired. So understand, like, all of us here get it. Like, we're just tired. We're exhausted. We want to be heard. My hair, like, y'all, I don't give a shit about my hair. I don't care about the window. <laughs> like...
or just like hear us, you know, as a people, like we have a collective voice that is so important. And I had friends who went and were protesting and who were down, all of you who went down yesterday, you know, like I respect that, I hear that, and we want our voices to be heard. We need this society to change. I am not a prophet. I am not Killer Mike. I am not our amazing mayor. I'm just sad and I'm really tired. <laughs> That's it. I'm sorry. Um, and I actually do want to send like a note to all the people that reached out to us saying like, we will help you sweep, help you this, because that means a lot. And I mean, some people didn't even know, but. Thank you. Like, I just think about you guys who had to be here. We just, agents, social teak. We wanted it to be a club for people that could come and feel safe. So I just. Yeah, that's it. Was we were a door, guys. We were a door. And we just want people. Thank you. I like, and I mean, I just love you because you're here on the front lines. Like, this is not. Oh. This is the aftermath to get to the mall, and like we're here. This was a space in Atlanta and Wakanda and and you're right, like we don't care about a window, we don't care about this, and for all y'all saying it's about insurance, like I get it. We have that. That's not the point. And I understand people are mad, people are angry. We've been locked in the house for months and months, right? Like Yes, like, we're tired, we're sick and tired. And yes, this was fighting back, and I believe in the revolution. But I do think there's something to be said for this. Atlanta is a special place. Like, Atlanta is a special place that is unlike other places in the country because we have this, you know, T.I. called it yesterday. He said, this is Wakanda. And this is Wakanda because it's a special place where I'm not saying we don't have disparity. I'm not saying we don't have, you know, fundamental issues that we need to address. But it is a place where we do have a black mayor that is looking out for us. And yesterday could have been so much different if we had a different sort of leadership just saying like, stop this now. So I'm just sad, y'all. I'm just sad. I'm sorry. And my heart goes out to everybody. My heart goes out to all of us. He's like, I can't. What? Yeah. Thank you for listening. For more celebrity news, please like, comment, and subscribe.